This is the Fire Cuda 530. Yes is fast. And yes, I did find some issues. Let's talk about it. Welcome back to another video. My name is Nikos. Today we're talking about the Fire Cuda 530. What a great little drive. Uh, super fast, super quick, uh, but it does have uh, some issues I discovered and now I'm trying to figure out what those are. I was gonna make a different video for this and it was ready to go. And then I uh, found some issues as I was working and I'm like, oh man, and I was gonna keep this drive and now I'm debating it. We'll see what happens. I'm kind of, uh, you know, I regretted the, the decision to buy this right off the bat. I bought it because everybody's been asking me to do a review on this and everybody's been saying how great this drive is. Now, I have done tests before on drives. So if you're new to the channel, uh, I, I do have links to the uh, drives like the SN850. I have uh, examples of the 980 Pro, et cetera, et cetera, where we're looking at how much data we're transferring on and off and the caching issues that pop up because of the massive data. And at that, what is the recovery time? There would be a recovery time that we expect from every drive. Now, the SNA 50s just knock it out of the park. Where the 980 Pros and all these other drives, they've had issues. And uh, like Samsung came out with new firmware updates and some people have not had any issues and other people have. So the question is like, did they really fix it? And what is the fix? I, I don't have the drives anymore, so I can't test them. I do buy everything and then I return it if it's not in my workflow and I keep what is in my workflow. And then I do tests on the things that I'm keeping so that you guys can make better decisions with your purchases based on similar workflows or similarities in there so you can make better decisions. Now, um, the idea here is very simple for me. Okay, I I, put, I I purchased this. I was regretful because it was 100 bucks more than the SN850 at the time. And at that, I was kind of like, hmm, maybe I shouldn't be uh, purchasing this. And uh, of course, I purchased it. And um, then I got excited because I watched reviews. And then... Um, I put it on my computer and I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. I'm getting full speed, 7,000 on the read, 7,000 on the right. This is doing what it's supposed to be doing, much better drive on those stats relating back to the SN850. And I do have another two terabyte SN850 and uh, one uh, and two one terabyte SN850s in the system. I needed a two terabyte because I picked up the R5, which is overheating at this moment. And at that, it does AK. I need more data movement. So another two terabyte would be great in my rig. So here we are. I picked it up. It ran good. You can see the numbers right here. They are flying absolutely awesome. However, as that shorts video that I posted, which if you didn't see, you should subscribe again. Uh, I posted that as in, in three days later, all of a sudden my computer started like just being very slow. And I was like, what's going on? I went and ran some tests and this is running super slow. And I don't know why. These are the numbers I was getting there. And that is just like, oh my God, like so disappointing because I was just expecting this not to happen. And at that, I was just super excited to finally buy a product that didn't have any issues. I, if you've been following the channel, I have had so many issues with products. And this is why primarily I decided to make this channel. So you guys make better informed decisions because we're testing different stuff. And I have so many products I'm testing that have issues. You're going to see more of these and how we're dealing with them as we go along with the companies. This is why I always advise everybody to buy from where you can return. And I got 30 days to return this. So hey, here we are. Now, at that, I'm going to be redoing these tests. And this is why I made this video because people have been asking me, where's the review? Well, the review is delayed again because I found that issue. I got to reinstall Windows. I'm going to do a new test so I can see what is occurring and see if I can replicate what just happened. I did do an update with Windows, so that was part of the issue that occurred. So I want to make sure that I do uh, another retest before we um, deem something wrong with this. And then I might reach out to Amazon or actually the, the company and uh, see if they can send me another product to review. I don't know if I want to keep this though because I'm looking at that budget, time, energy, and money, and I'm saying, is that worth it? You know, overall, because the SN850s the are awesome. So if you have questions, comments, concerns, discrepancies, leave them below. If you want me to do a test, let me know. And of course, uh, uh, check out these videos and stay tuned for uh, the review on this, the full one, after I do those tests.